Go to easymutt.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off right now. There's a link down below me buying coins step by step. Or you can even buy points now. The new technology. It's banned free. Stop gambling your money. Pass rushing tier list. It's here right now, guys. All these videos are on the channel. So check them out. Now, up next is the cornerback tier list. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Um, Nolan Smith is actually B tier or C tier. He's he's like the worst of B. Uh, he has horrible traits that throw the wrong move. What I mean by that is, guys, you have players that have a higher power move, a higher finesse move, and then they have a trash power move or a trash finesse move. And if their traits allow them to throw that, they're not going to be very effective. And so this guy is not very effective. He's definitely going to be a pass right now. Please don't waste your coins on him. Uh, Rhetoric is the same way. Horrible. Do not waste your coins, please. Uh, Reggie White's best card in the game as far as pass rushing. Why? Because he gets unstoppable force. And he gets double or nothing for a discount. And his traits are great. And we're talking about thresholds here. We're talking about strength, power, finesse, and block shed. He gets all of it. I'm not going to talk about block shed a lot in this video. Because this is a pass rushing video and not a run stopping video so let's go ahead and get started again here we got tj watt he's nothing special uh his traits are not the best he does have double or nothing uh but are you going to see a night and day difference putting him on the field absolutely not jared allen is actually a guy you need to be looking at because he gets double or nothing for a discount for his price plus his traits uh are pretty good this guy here is effective but just remember not having the x factor Unstoppable force, like this guy, the beast, uh, it's going to be a night and day difference. Uh, when he's lighting up, he's way better than Allen, but he is actually doesn't have the best stats. So when he's not lighting up, Allen's actually better. So it depends. But yes, you guys need unstoppable force everywhere. Warren Sapp's absolutely S tier with his everything, his strength, power, finesse. His discount, his X Factor, everything, definitely go get him. He's worth every coin. Uh, Hutchison is not worth much at all. Please do not get this card. He doesn't get a good ability discounts, nothing like that. He's going to be a pass. Orange Taylor is actually still relevant. His speed, strength, power, finesse, and he gets double or nothing. So, yeah, his traits are great, and he's pretty good. Yeah, I don't have nothing really against him. Now, Derek Thomas is going to be the end of a tier but this guy is still usable uh his discounts and his traits and well he's going to be a card that you can get on your team and it's going to make a pretty good difference it's not a world of difference justin tuck is next guys his celebration is a little bit better than allen so i got him ahead of allen now remember tuck gets power and finesse move over 90 as a threshold threshold equals animations now Allen does not get both, but Allen's traits do not make him throw his bad move. So, really, I'm going to go by acceleration. They both get the same discount for double or nothing. Please do not put speedster, edge threat elite, edge threat, uh, unpredictable. Don't put none of those on your players. You're wasting your AP. Only put double or nothing or unstoppable force X factor. Will Anderson kind of throws the wrong move, so he's not very this effective at all. Uh, I would definitely pass on him. Can he make a play? Yeah. Then can he can disappear for 15 other plays? He sure can. Now, Josh Allen is absolutely terrible. He does not even get double or nothing. He has a really bad... Now, Christian Harris, the same way, guys. Uh, his traits are terrible. He doesn't get double or nothing. He's just going to be a pass move and guess what his traits let him throw it so he throws a horrible 77 power move with no double or nothing please pass on this card please don't waste your coins i only put green on this list because people keep asking me about him and he's absolutely horrible no power no finesse move no great abilities he's going to be a pass as well chubb has a bad power move when he throws it so that's not good but he does have double or nothing so he can win sometimes but sometimes he's just going to be just so ineffective when he throws it. Back. What is actually pretty bad? Uh, he does not get double or nothing. He has a bad power move, and he throws a bad power move. So with that being said, uh, he's a good user, but I would not blitz him. Huff has a bad power move, and he throws it as well. So 
Some of these cards are just so similar. And he doesn't get double or nothing, so he's going to be a pass. Smith is going to be up here, guys. Uh, he has a good power and finesse move, but he has no good abilities. Can he show up? Yes. Will he disappear? Yes. Uh, definitely not worth the coins. I would suggest you to go ahead and skip this card. Brian Burns is going to be just fine. And you know what? Um, his power and finesse is fine. He's double or nothing. He gets it for a discount, but guess what holds him back into the strength? This guy here, if he flies by somebody, he's okay. If he gets caught on the edge and gets to like in a pushing battle, he has no strength to fight back. So it depends on the animation you get, but yes, not hitting the 90 strength threshold does hold this card back. Brian Burns is next, guys. His strength holds him back. He does have 90 strength, but he does get double and nothing for discount. He does have good power and finesse. So can he show up? Yes. Can he disappear? Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, if he gets in a pushing battle, I don't like him at all. He's going to have to get on the edge and just barely have one move to go by. If you try to run this guy up the middle, it's going to be really bad with special alignment with high strength. TJ Watt does get double or nothing uh, for a discount, which is sweet, right? And I will say, well, you're saying, well, what's the issue with the card? Well, he doesn't get the X Factor, right? You want the X Factor, you want Unstoppable Force. He doesn't get that for you. So keep that in mind. But is he usable? Yes. Is his traits, power, finesse, all that great? Yes. Just remember, I had him and Lawrence Taylor for a couple months on the same team, and Lawrence Taylor did show up a little bit more. Mr. Monday Night does get that X Factor. It does make a difference. And after he's not lighting up, he does disappear. So just keep that in mind. Um, you, you go get Reggie White, he's not going to disappear when his X Factor is gone. Just keep that in mind. There is a night and day difference there. I would definitely go ahead and get white instead. Jonathan uh, does not get double or nothing, and his traits are bad, and yeah, you're not gonna notice him. I would just go ahead and skip him. Now, Christian has a bad power move when he throws it, but he does get double or nothing. Uh, an emergency, like team building, 50 for 50, you, he is usable. Just right now, guys, it's really hard to suggest him when somebody like Justin Tuck is so much faster with the discount, better traits, everything. I, I would just save up and get like a tuck if you're going to looking at anybody on the B tier here. I, I'm gonna tell you they're probably gonna disappear. C tier is not gonna exist really. You can move Chubb right here because he does get double or nothing. But I will say on the D tier here, guys, there's complete waste of coins when it comes to pass rushing. Now Ed Too Tall is like the best player that doesn't get double or nothing. Uh, his traits and everything like that's fine. And not having double or nothing right now is the animations you need, and he doesn't give that to you, so please don't waste your coins on somebody that doesn't even get the best ability to put on a pass rusher. Boza doesn't get the AKA Unstoppable Force, but he is fast. He gets double or nothing for one. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, just go get Jared Allen. Save your coins. Uh, you're going to get the same discount for double or nothing with him. And yeah, is Boza going to be great? Yeah, you can use him. But definitely go ahead and get somebody with the X factor of Unstoppable Force. I know people are a fan of this Parsons card. Uh, some people like him because, you know, he does show up. He does play a little bit better in his stats. Just remember, he doesn't get double or nothing. He has a bad power move and he throws the bad power move. So, yes, uh, he is a tricky one to put on a tier list because he actually plays better in his stats. If you remember his 90 card, he did show up. Play does have double or nothing. And he does throw the bad move, but with his speed, he can, he will show up more than them. I will say, but I do love the speed off the edge for sure. That's it for me, guys. That was the pass rushing materials. Up next is cornerback materials. I'll see you then. Be kind for no reason. Right now at easymutt.com, use code CUTE. 500K is just above $20. Stop gambling your money. Get the players you want, get the team you want. You want a player? Get it the cheapest way possible. My website does have the cheapest prices. Go ahead and feel free to shop around. SafeNBAMT.com. Right now, guys, you want VC? There's not a cheaper way to do it. Look at this. This doesn't even look real. $29 for 400K VC. It's insane. And if you enjoy, well, FC24, go to U4GM.com. Use code Q for 10% off and enjoy your team and save your money.